Marco, a win is always pleasing, but after three defeats, it's particularly pleasing. Yeah, it was a it was a must win game for us. Um, just because of the three defeats, um, we slipped against Sale at home. Exeter away was a tough game, and um, you know Newcastle. So this was a must win for us at home. Um, but we did uh, we made tough work for it. Yes, there were two wonderful tries in the first half, keeping up the record of all the tries being scored by the backs. Uh, but then it got a bit tense second half, didn't it? Yeah, which is kind of weird because we played against the win the first half. Um, uh, so you'll expect us you know, to play better in the second half with the win. But uh, again, we just didn't look after the ball that well. Set piece functioned well, you know, the scrum was really well. But, um, you know, Bath's a dangerous team. They can play from anywhere and... Um, you know, they scored that try and they, was back, they were back into the game. But, again, the positive thing was we, you know, we, we could finish the game. Uh, defended well the last five minutes, kept them out and uh, you know, got the win. Yes, you mentioned the set pieces. Obviously, you're the line-out king and that has gone really well this season. There have been a couple of games where the scrum has creaked. But last week at Newcastle it went well and it went well here again. And right at the end, the scrum won a penalty which could have stretched the lead to six points. But it was the last kick of the game. Yeah, you know, the set piece is, you know, I think for us, a bit of work in progress. You know, the line out's improving weekly. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take time for the boys to, you know, to be up there, but we're getting there weekly. The scrum is, it's a bit of a weird thing because we're so dominant one week and then we kind of slip the next week. But, you know, it's, it's, it's back to back weeks where the scrum is really well. Tim Payne, you know, Ben Brosser today, and, you know, even, you know, Webbs, you know, the three of them were excellent today. Well, Webbs was named man of the match, and certainly there was, there was one particular moment in the first half where they looked dangerous and he came in with a thunderous tackle which dislodged the ball we cleared downfield they knocked on and from the scrum we scored yeah Webb's played very well you know it's it's, it's always hard for, for, for a back or a guy who's, a guy's in the front row of the scrum struggling so scrum's going well his legs a bit fresh you know he gets around the pitch you know his line out's improving weekly he's throwing so you know he had a very good game today but you know I have to say you know all three of those one to three was really good today Certainly in the second row, your position, we seem to be pretty well served at the moment. There's Berkey, who has been playing since the try was worth three points, apparently. <laughs> um, and Joe Launchbury is good in the second row, although he's made the, the back row his home. Ross yeah. Filippo, competition there to keep you all on your metal. Yeah, I think that's important. I think you know we, we probably lack a bit of competition in other positions in the team. Uh, but you know that's that's the way it's going all through the Premiership, just with the way budget is. But you know it's good for us. You know we're, we're you know we're all quite close in the second round. We all uh, play against each other. But you know. It, it's